There's an 18 year old warm blood dressage horse. And a couple weeks ago he sustained some uveitis, a flare, and he subsequently has been on some atropine and anti-inflammatory meds and he's just, uh, he's progressed quite satisfactorily. So the atropine's starting to wear out because we do have, wear off because we do have some constriction now of the pupil. Um, the uveitis has subsided. Um, there's a bit of a protein uh, flare in the back of the cornea and just a, just a, a slight um, pacification of his lens. So in other words, not a bona fide true cataract, but a less transparent lens than we'd like to see. It's definitely less transparent than on the other side. So we're just going to follow up on this side, do a stain, make sure we don't need to do a, a, a bulbar conjunctival injection, and I'll be ultrasounding the eye to look at the iris and the, uh, the lens. A very happy camper, very good patient. Do it, uh, an ultrasound exam of his globe. Of his eyeball. So, so far this is a normal ultrasound exam. You can see his retina and his um, lens. Oh, ultrasound exam of the eye is done in a short axis and a long axis. And um, the Eyeball looks very normal, the retina, the lens, uh, the anterior chamber, posterior chamber. So this is a normal ultrasound exam of the eye. So this will help us in our therapy. I had uh, thought that I would do a bulbar conjunctival, conjunctival injection with corticosteroids, but I don't feel he needs that right now. We'll just carry on with his ointment, his triple antibiotic and uh, uh, corticosteroid ointment. Um, and he's doing quite well under that regime along with some banamine twice a day. So this just augments the fact that we don't have to go further in our therapy and that he's responding satisfactorily.